Hi, everybody. This is Mike Greer, your friendly neighborhood project management coach with another episode of Inspired Project Teams, enduring wisdom and guided challenges to help project teams achieve their best. Today's focus, let go of perfectionism. Let's start with a couple of quotes here. The first is from John Elliott, PhD in Reverse Psychology for Success. That's an online article. And it goes, quote, the idea of perfect closes your mind to new standards. When you drive hard toward one ideal, you miss opportunities and paths, not to mention hurting your confidence. Believe in your potential and then go out and explore it. Don't limit it, end quote. Here's another quote from, well, I'm going to let him be anonymous. It's an anonymous senior executive from the first consulting firm I worked at. Quote, if you give me 90% of what you call perfect, we can make a profit. You can have a life, and you won't burn out. But if you keep trying to close that gap and get it 100% perfect, you're going to drive yourself crazy and screw things up for both of us. End quote. Years ago, when I was just starting my career with a top-notch training consulting firm as a writer and developer of training materials, I was fairly intimidated by my job and by the high-quality work of my coworkers. In response, I tried and tried to get things perfect, putting in lots of extra hours, frustrating my family by my late evenings, and developing so much energy around my work products that I frequently engaged in long arguments defending my stuff and why it was perfect. The introductory quote above is from one of the most senior executives of that company. He delivered it one evening around 7 o'clock when he found me once again at my desk working late. He already knew what I came to learn years later when I was managing my own teams of training developers and media producers. And that's this. Perfection is a fiction, even an indulgence. There are many, many ways to get results in a project, and rather than achieving a perfect result, that reflects the vision of one individual, the best project teams generate results that come from collaborative, synthesized, and shared visions. Visions that meet the needs of many stakeholders and of which those many stakeholders can be proud. So here are some challenges for you. Reflect on these questions. Just you, project manager, project team leader, you reflect on these questions. First, what constitutes perfection for our project's outcomes? Is this a realistic and comfortably shared vision, or is it unreasonable, even arrogant, an indulgence of a single team member's vision? Is anyone on the project team beating themselves up, trying to close the gap between 90% and 100% of perfect? Is someone on the project team making life miserable for others by pursuing their own idiosyncratic vision of perfection? So give those questions some thought. Then ask your team, what constitutes perfect in our deliverables? In our customers' ultimate satisfaction? Are there areas where we should dial back our notions of perfection and maybe build rougher prototypes that aren't perfect, but prototypes that would nonetheless invite collaboration and help us take smaller steps toward valuable outcomes? In what area of the project do you feel that we have unreasonably high expectations? What might be an alternative way to approach these? So discuss those things with your team. See what they think. Kick it around a little bit. And as for you, project manager, accept these challenges. First, review and think about this official definition of project management that goes like this. Here's the quote. The application of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to project activities in order to meet or exceed stakeholder needs and expectations. Notice we said to meet or exceed stakeholder needs and expectations. So it's okay to meet stakeholder needs and expectations. You don't always have to exceed them. So think about that. Here's another thing for you to do. Figure out ways to prove to your team that they are doing great work and that they first shouldn't drive themselves crazy trying to close the gap between 90 and 100 percent. Next, that they are creating something that is malleable. Get it across to them that it is a, a prototype, a work in progress that will be tried and applied 
with the expectation that it will be modified and improved in increments. And finally, figure out ways to prove to them that they might be indulging their unique definition of perfect, whatever that is, at the exclusion of equally valid definitions of perfect from other stakeholders' perspectives. You can learn more, go a little deeper on this topic of letting go of perfectionism by checking out John Elliott's online article, Reverse Psychology for Success. I have a link to that at my website. Also, give some thought to 37 Signals website and free online book titled Getting Real, The Smarter, Faster, Easier Way to Build a Successful Web Application. Now, while this book is about web development, it really has lots of good stuff in there, good perspectives to apply to any kind of project. You might want to check out another one of our Inspired Project Team's posts called Think Small. Or you can go to Philosopher's Notes, my old buddy Brian Johnson, and get the full notes on MP3 on Overachievement by John Elliott, Ph.D. It's real good stuff there. Uh, Six-page notes and a nice roughly 20-minute MP3 on John Elliott's Overachievement. And finally... You might want to go to Amazon, where you can find Overachievement, The New Science of Working Less to Accomplish More by John Elliott, is available both in the standard book version as well as a Kindle version. And I got links to all this stuff from my website, Inspired Project Teams, under the topic, Let Go of Perfectionism. So, thanks for listening. And remember, let go of perfectionism to have more inspired project teams. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to check out inspiredprojectteams.com for more great ideas to inspire your project team. And for lots of project management-related articles, tools, and links, go to michaelgreer.com where you can also learn how you can schedule a custom-tailored, on-site project management basics workshop for your organization where we work with your own real-world projects to teach your folks project management. Until next time, stay inspired.